Hello, I am Erdem from Uvision. In this video we will learn Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. I will start by Kirchhoff's current law and it's abbreviated as KCL and most of the time I will I will say KCL other than Kirchhoff's current law. The first statement of the Kirchhoff's current law is this. The algebraic sum of sum of the currents entering a node is always zero. So imagine you have a node, imagine you have a node and this node is connected to several branches. And of course there are currents there are currents flowing through branches. And if you sum them up these currents according to their directions, according to their directions, what you get is always zero. So I1 is leaving this node, I2 is leaving this node, I3 is entering to the node, I4 is leaving, I5 is entering, I6 is leaving. So if you if you sum if you sum entrings and if you sum leavings at the same site, at the same site, what you get is zero. So let's sum sum the leavings up, okay? I1 is leaving, I1 is leaving, I2 is leaving, I4 is leaving, I, and I6 is leaving. We have summed them up and we took plus, we took plus the leaving currents. So, we must take minus the entering currents, right? I3 and I5 is entering to the node entering to the node so we will we will include them in the equation as minus i3 and minus i5 and this whole is equal to zero by KCL you may also you may also write this equation as such i1 plus i2 plus i4 plus i6 is equal to i3 plus i5 and this means that entrings entrings is equal to leavings all right the second the second stat statement of the kcl is this the algebraic sum of the currents entering a closed surface is always zero so let's see this Let's see this also. Imagine that this is your surface, this is your closed surface. And of course, there are several branches. There are several branches related to this closed surface. And of course, current flows through these branches. Let's say this is I1, this is I2, this is I3. This is I4 and this is I5. This is I6 lastly. You don't need to concern, you don't need to concern what is included in the surface. Because what does KCL say is that the, the algebraic sum of the currents answering a closed surface is always zero. You don't need to worry about what's inside the surface, alright? So there might be 10 branches or uh, 15 branches in this node, sorry, in this surface, but you don't need to worry about them. You will need to worry about these branches, these branches. And let's write KCL equation. Again, I will, I will take leavings as plus and enterings as minus, alright? So I1 is the first one who is leaving. I5 is the second one is leaving and that this the last current actually leaving this surface. We need to we need to include entrings as minus in this equation because we took plus the leavings. So minus I2 minus I3 minus I4 minus I6 is equal to 0 by KCL by KCL 
you can also write this equation as i1 plus i5 i1 plus i5 is equal to i2 plus i3 plus i4 plus i6 and this means that this means that leavings leavings is equal to entrings actually and I have written here uh, this leavings and entrings in counter sides actually uh, this equation is exactly true but um, these currents are actually leavings as you see I1 uh, I2 I4 I6 are actually leaving this node and I3 and I5 is actually entering to the node so if you swap this uh, this should be more true under this equation okay that's all of the Kirchhoff's current law let's talk about Kirchhoff's voltage law and it's all it's abbreviated as KVL and most of the time I'll say KVL other than Kirchhoff's voltage law the statement of the KVL is this the algebraic sum of all voltages around a closed path Re remember a closed path is is actually a loop right a closed path is actually a loop so the algebraic sum of all voltages around the loop is always zero so how can we how can we uh, interpret this law in mathematics okay notice that this is a loop right this is actually a mesh and meshes is meshes a special form of loop so we can apply KVL around this loop, around this mesh and let's apply this, I, I want to start I want to start to travel from this point alright and the first component we enter is this voltage source and we are entering it from it from its minus terminal so we we will write minus 10 minus 10 volts I will omit the volts because it looks messy uh, in that way we have entered entered this voltage source from its minus terminal so we need to write minus 10 the second component we enter is this we are also entering it from its minus terminal so we will write minus V2 the third component we enter is this but this but this time we are entering it from its positive terminals so we shall write plus V3 and and the last component is this because we have started we have reached the start point we are entering it from its positive terminal and we shall include it as plus V5 and since we reached the, the start point we can equate whole to zero by KCL this is what KCL says let's write another K sorry this is what KVL says and we can equate whole to zero by KVL sorry for my wrong word let's apply another KVL on the circuit notice that this is actually a mesh, this is actually a loop and we can apply KVL around this loop I want to start from this point and first component is this as you can see we are entering it from its minus terminal so we shall write minus V1 second and last component is this this time we are entering from its positive terminal we will write then plus V2 and we will equate this whole to zero by KVL. This is exactly what KVL says. Let's apply another KVL and around this, this loop. I want to start from this point. First component we enter is fourth component this component we are entering it from its positive terminal so we will write plus v4 second and the last component is this 
and we are entering it from its minus terminal. We will write minus v3 by and we will we will write minus v3 and we will equate this whole to zero by kvl. Actually, there is uh, there is uh, I think two more loops in this circuit, but I will I will apply K kvl in one more loop, and it is that this loop around this loop I will apply kvl. And I will start from this green dot again. We are also entering this voltage source is minus terminal, so we will write minus 10. Second component is, is this component. We are entering it from minus terminal, which is minus V1. Third component is this component. We are entering it from its plus terminal. We shall write plus V4. And the last component is this component. We are entering it from its positive terminal. We shall write plus V5 and we can equate this whole to zero by KVL. Alright? So that's all I want to talk. That's all I want to say in this video. Thanks for watching.